Hey, what is going on you guys? It's me, the Photobomber. And in today's episode, we're going to be shooting some water droplet refraction photography. So if you guys are all new to this channel, I do appreciate it. And I would love it if you guys hit that bell button, hit that subscribe, and don't forget to, to comment. <laughs> I don't know why I had to think about this for a second. So, without further ado, let's get right down to water dropper refractions. So I decided after the pilot, I think as I mentioned in the pilot, I don't remember too much because it's been quite a few weeks, I decided to start off this whole series with some water dropper refractions and a mix of like other stuff too with it. And also maybe if it rains during the summer might might as well just go out and then take a couple pictures. That'll be nice, right? So But because the spring um Yeah, that's what <laughs> it snows too. Which yes, it's a little bit disappointing. <laughs> but it's also is going to turn into an icicle if I stay outside a little bit, if I stay out longer out here. Anyways, um, might as well just do it at home, right? So that's when I decided to order a few things like ring flashes and an extension tube, which didn't come until almost March the 19th. <laughs> and I ordered it on March like the 5th <laughs> or something I don't remember the date exactly uh, like at the top of my head but finally came in but that is also the time when I shot the pictures for to just start off and doing this video and whatnot right and after they came in I was like oh well, okay then, let's go. <laughs> but I have to hold my mic because I don't want the wind to start e-raping anybody. Anyways guys, um, without further ado, I'm just gonna start explaining what I did for the photo shooting I lost. But before I get into that, I'm just going to tell you guys that I lost the footage for of me placing the water droplets and me preparing everything. Um, because I, after I put the pictures into Lightroom, I had another SD card that, that had the videos on, on it of me placing the, what, the whatnots, but then I just kind of decided uh oops let's just let's just format the memory card and that's what I did and then I was like oh well okay then I just lost all the videos so I guess doing it via the phone is probably the next best thing whatever right whatever gets the work done and whatever gets whatever gets the work done <laughs> So, what I um, uh, what I used for this is just a regular iPad that I just went online, found a back, found just like a little flower background because obviously, as I showed you guys a few minutes ago, that there is no flowers out yet because of the snow. And my fingers are literally freezing right now as I'm holding the microphone. But, um, yeah. No. <laughs> and after, after that, I just kind of decided, hey, uh, let's try using the pussy, the, the, the pussy willow that I collected from the pilot video, if you guys 
want to check it out it's in the link in the descriptions below um, just so you guys wouldn't mess miss out on that video so I decided to put to take one of the little seed thingies and then put it on a little house plant and yeah that is putting the water droplets and placing them on top of the little seed thingy it wasn't it was I got to tell you guys it wasn't a good thing <laughs> it took it took just forever to do it but hey practices and goes a long way with that right and in the end I came up with this picture which I'm gonna explain to you guys how I did it so but here it is as you see here, this is the final result of the water dropper refraction uh, picture, the first image uh, for this video. Now, you guys can tell that there is a little bit of a flashlight glare. This is to add a little bit more lighting to the image. And you can also see that there is no that there is the background of the iPad which is refracting in a droplet. So this is the final result after going into focus stacking into Photoshop. And later on I just put in, I placed the picture in this video here as you guys are watching. So it turned out so nice. I put it as my MacBook background. So, as you guys saw in the in the photograph, this was the final edit of that picture. And also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm doing a separate take to get today because yesterday was too freezing for my hands to hold the the, to hold my phone and do some recording and stuff so I thought today was going to be a perfect day to do this so anyways out of subject I took a different picture but only this time it didn't have the pussy willow branch or the seedling or I don't know what you guys call it but and this one, I uh, set it, that picture as my desktop background where I do my photoshops, my Call of Duty videos, and all that. So that picture turned out very nicely. It was, I loved it too. Um, so now, time for vine tendrils yes this wasn't this wasn't uh, <laughs> yeah I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday but it took forever to do it because I had to use some play-doh and shish kebab skewers and all that and the shish kebab skewers kept like falling down and I had to reposition it just because the play-doh decided that hey you know what let's just make <laughs> let's just make the whole thing uh, slide down and make my life a little bit more miserable <laughs> so in the end the picture turned out nice and uh, yeah, I just, that was immediately after I finished with the, uh, with the little garden plant or the house plant that I finished up with. I decided to just go around because I, in my backyard, because I thought that and I also read that vine tendrils tend to hold the droplets in place into the perfect spheres. I don't know if it worked or not, but in my opinion, it kind of looked nice at the end. 
after photo stacking and all that. Uh, <laughs> so the final result turned out really beautiful. Um, just the focus stacking I have to finish up and all that. So guys, this is the final result that I'm gonna show you to you guys right now after the focus stacking and put into Lightroom and all that. So here it is. As you see, this is the final product of the shot. As you see in there, this is the same background that I used. Whoa, all right then, whoa. Jeez, anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, I was, uh, as I was saying, this is the same background I used in the iPad. You can see the night, the beautiful contrast in the colors and the water droplets. I know they're they're not refracting perfect, but hey, what do you expect? Nothing is like perfect in a sense, but. I think the vine tendrils are working perfectly. You guys can uh, comment below if you what you guys think about that. But as you see, they're holding like glue. It's so amazing. I didn't use any glycerin or any of that sort. It was only water. <laughs> A bowl of water, literally. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, this is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, so please be sure to subscribe to, the, to this channel and don't forget to like and don't forget to comment because I want you guys to be truthful of, you, of what you think about this video and what am I doing. And if you guys think that, oh, this is, what I'm doing is garbage and is boring, you guys can comment that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind at all because I want you I want to know what I can improve I just want to know that okay so yeah uh, I'll put a link in the descriptions below for uh, my Instagram page so you guys can all check that one out so peace out and I'll see you in the next episode